This is Anna Jam TV. This, this is, is Anna Jam TV. This is Danny Jam TV here today with DJ and voice actor Greg Ayers. How's it going? Besides DJing and voice acting, you also have sung anime theme songs and soundtracks. Have you ever thought of being a singer? Oh, uh, I am a singer. As long all that's required for you to be a singer is to sing. Um, I don't want to. Um, I don't want a career as a musician singer. Uh, I like singing occasionally, uh, and that keeps it fun. If I had to do it every day for a living, it would stop being fun. Uh, so I just like singing when it's when it's time to. Uh, I just got pulled up on stage and I had to sing during the Kazuha show, but uh, but uh, I don't I don't make a habit of singing. I just do it a little here and there. I sang in Beck and uh, got to sing the new opening for Dragon Ball Z Kai, but just a little bit here and there. It's fun. If you can. Can you tell us who is your favorite character that you have voiced and from what anime? Uh, it's hard to ever pick uh, just one character. Uh, everybody likes the character they're working on right now. Uh, I have like three. I like, uh, I definitely like Koyuki in Beck because he's a singer uh, and he's a leader of a rock band which I have a little friend, a friend of mine that is now not little, he's the lead guitarist for a really big band in Chicago. But uh, I've known him since he was a little kid, and he's just like Koyuki. So that show's kind of special to me. Um, uh, Sayuki, playing Son Goku and Sayuki is a big deal, because I'm a big fan of uh, Kaizu Minakura's work, and uh, I was a fan of that show before I was ever involved in the industry. Uh, and I really, really, really like uh, Gante Igarashi in Dead Man Wonderland, not just because it's on TV and everybody's making a big deal about it, but it's a really neat show. It's a uh, dark and there's a lot it's fast paced and it's not like most anime so I really really like that and uh, unlike a lot of the whiny wimpy kids I play this kid turns into a killer like this kid goes from being a little crying kid to like really really tough so I like him a lot right now uh, I've got some new shows coming up uh, number six I play a little boy named Xion and I'm kind of I'm kind of fond of that role too so it's it's hard to ever pick just one uh, the ones I always like are not everybody else's favorites, but that's why they're my favorites. What gave you the interest into becoming a voice actor? Uh, that's a pretty big myth. Most of us that are voice actors, my phone is buzzing, I'm sorry. Uh, most of us that are voice actors never set out to be voice actors. We're just actors. Uh, it's like singers. Uh, a singer doesn't set out to only sing operatic songs in a 4-4 four, four time signature, you just sing. You're a singer and, and you eventually end up doing the kind of music that you like. The same with acting. Uh, I've been acting since I was, I've been acting professionally since I was seven years old. Uh, so um, this voice over acting is my favorite because um, I can use my voice and do things that I couldn't do on stage. Uh, so it was, it was never a goal of mine to do voiceover, but I do remember when I was in junior high school, we had to do a radio play and use only ourselves, and I remember my drama teacher was like, you should really get into doing some kind of voiceover stuff, so evidently I've always played around with my voice, but uh, I don't I, I don't know what, what necessarily made me go to voice acting, but it's a fun job, and it's a job that uh, I really enjoy, so it's probably why I've stuck with it longer than most jobs. I usually just go wherever the wind takes me. <laughs> Next year I'll want to be a fireman, I'm probably, I don't know. You're going to be a part of the new anime on Toonami. Can you give us any details or info of what anime you will be in, involved in, or what character you will voice? Uh, if you're talking about, Dead Man Wonderland's already aired. Um, Dead Man Wonderland's already actually aired to completion, but the funny thing is, one of the shows they've replaced it with is another one of my shows, Samurai 7. Uh, and it's one of my favorite shows. It's um, a retelling of Akira Kurosawa's uh, Seventh Samurai, and I play Heihachi, the woodcutter, uh, who doesn't believe you should use your sword to kill people, but only to cut things and be productive. Uh, and I really like that character, so I'm excited that one show was replaced with another show. Um, 
the funny thing is, the last night, the night of the last episode of Dead Man Wonderland, uh, Cash and Sins comes on right after Dead Man Wonderland, and it was the episode that my I only I have a one episode character in Cash and Sins, and then the next show after that is Full Metal Alchemist, and my character appeared in Full Metal Alchemist. So there were three like three shows back to back that night on Toonami that I was in. So uh, I missed my character's death in Full Metal Alchemist this weekend because we were having fun at Any Jam, but. I've already seen that guy die once, so it's okay. Is there any advice for people who want to become a voice actor? Yes, definitely. Act. Act act anywhere you can. Act at your school. Act at a local theater. Um, but it will warn you, there are a lot of scummy people out there right now that know a lot of people want to be voice actors, and so they're trying to sell you their little book on voice acting or their little $2,000 workshop. There's no back door into this industry. It's a very tiny industry, and all of us that are here are actors. We've been acting half of our lives. Uh, very rarely does someone just find out overnight that they're a great actor. So the thing that I would tell anybody that wants to do what I do for a living is learn as much as you can. And learning is fun. Uh, being in acting classes and doing improv workshops and things like that, those are fun. When you have to show up every night and do a play, and it's, it's actually work, it's a different story, but um, I would definitely tell people to act, and uh, I would find a good instructor, a good a good person to teach you. There are lots of people. Well, I'll use my brother as an example, who's also a voice actor and a director. He was the voice of Frieza in the new Dragon Ball Z Kai, and he's my director in a whole bunch of new shows. Um, he was always told he would never be a dancer, uh, and he said he was uncoordinated and he has you know no talent as a dancer. Well, he found the right instructor, and now he's a choreographer. Uh, so I would also tell people that are wanting to get into something to find someone that is willing to teach you, and if someone says you're no good at it, go find another teacher, and eventually, uh, you know, something, something will, you'll fall into place and you'll find a good instructor. If you hear additional noise, we have a creaky door that is working against us. We're sorry. Thank you very much for being with us today. Everyone, Greg Ayers. This is the last time you'll see me with hair. Uh, we are about to don the clippers and shave my head, so this is the last time you'll see any of this. It's going to be gone soon. Uh, I'm replacing it with short, leopard-spotted hair. So, I live in Texas. It's hot. i got to cut my hair. You blocked me on Facebook, and now you're going to die.